Hey guys, welcome back. Pablo here. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming. And if it's your first time here, welcome aboard. So today, we're gonna be talking about how you can use Face ID with your mask to open your iPhone. I've already did it on my phone, so I'm not gonna go too in depth in resetting it and all that, but I will show you how to do it on yours. It's pretty easy, but it does take many attempts to get it just right. Probably took me, I don't know, I'm gonna say maybe six, seven times to get it exactly right where I had to open it. There are a couple of uh, tricks. I had to move the mask down just slightly, never exposing my nose, but just slightly right above the tip of my nose right here, and then it works uh, probably 98% of the time. Granted, I didn't actually do the percentages, but roughly 98, all right? Let's get right into the video. Let me show you how it's done, and that way you can do it as well. We all know how annoying it is to be out with your mask on and not being able to use your face ID and having to put your, um, your passcode in. But with the newer uh, updates, the face ID does sense that you have a mask on. So instead of you having to keep trying to do the face ID, what happens is it goes right into the passcode. So that is also a nice little feature if you can't get your face ID matched up with your mask. I'm on iOS 14.4, but I do believe that this works on all of iOS 14. So I'm gonna show you how to position your mask now. So you grab your mask in half, put it around your ears. And what you wanna do is you wanna leave half of your nose exposed then this side covered with the mask. So that way you can kind of see half of your face uh, uncovered completely. So you'll see that right there and you want to just hold it and then just do your normal, you know, up, down and around of the face ID. You're going to do that twice. Once you have it set up on half of your uh, face, make sure it's, this is not too high. I kind of want to put it right at the tip of the nose. Uh, you'll do it once and then it's going to ask you to do it again. So then switch the camera, the, the mask to the other side, and then do the same exact thing. Just hold it right there. Make sure you're covered um, right around the tip of the nose. This is gonna be like this. And it might say something like uh, your face has been obstructed or something. So just kind of take the mask off and just put it back on and I'll read it and then do your face uh, ID. You know, kind of just do the whole rotations around there. Um, and that should be it. So the first face ID that I set was of my actual face uncovered. And then I did another one, which was set an alternative appearance. And that's the one where I used the mask. One on this side and then one on the other side. And then you kind of have to uh, test it and try it every time. You might have to do a couple of different ways. Another way is if that doesn't work, another way of doing it is resetting it completely and then doing it where you do one face ID with one side of the face and then do, oh sorry, with one side of the mask on your face. And then when that one's set up, set up the alternative appearance with the other side. So there'll be two of this side and two of that side, and that might work. Um, or another way is, you know, setting up your normal face ID and then doing two of the same side. So you're gonna kind of have to troubleshoot to see which what which one uh, works best for you. The one that worked for me was the one completely on my face, and then doing it one and one, and then that worked. Um, like I said, it did take me a uh, few tries to get it right. I'm gonna say maybe like five or six. Um, you know, trying all types of different uh, patterns to see which one worked the best, and then once I got it. It was, it was good to go and it works pretty pretty good and quite flawlessly. So I'm gonna show you now on the phone where you have to go to get it done. All right, so what you wanna do is go to your settings, then go to Face ID, input your passcode, and then you'll see set up an alternate appearance. You'll wanna click on that. Uh, that's what you use if you already set up one of your face IDs as you know just nothing on your face you'll use that one to use you'll use that one for the for the mask once you're ready 
uh, click on set up an alternate appearance. Just have your mask ready on the side of your face. So that way when you're, uh, when it opens it up, you can just, it's already ready with your frame, with your face in the frame. And you just, you know, do your normal uh, thing. Just, I like to look into the camera. That way it just keeps my eyes. Uh, I don't know if that helps or doesn't help, but I think that it helps uh, with recognizing your face making sure that all your attention is there so so you can see i did both sides facetime is already set up and um then i'm going to show you how how it works let's try it open right up as you can tell but it will be finicky sometimes i'm gonna do it again open right up let's try it again right up here we go with stretch fourth time now it's a little finicky, but there you go. Sometimes it won't catch it on the first time, uh, but it might catch it on the second if you keep kind of trying to get your face ID in there. Uh, sometimes it just won't catch it at all. Um, like right now, let's see if it does it. See now, it doesn't even recognize it. So I would have to put my passcode in to kind of reset that. Um, as you can tell, the the nose is pretty low. Usually, I wear it up here. But to do it, I'll put it down just such. Try to get it to work. Let's try it again. I also try to look right into it. So I'll let it do. And there we go. So. That sometimes helps looking right into the lens there. See, I'm looking right at it right now. But sometimes it just doesn't work. Um, and you can keep doing it. So it's kind of like a trial and error type of deal. So if you can keep working at it, it might you might get it every time, you might not. So that's, uh, that's, that's about it about uh, using FaceTime ID with your mask on. So, and I also needed to put an overhead light on because it seemed like with the darker lighting, it wasn't picking it up at all. So you may need to be uh, in a place where it's really bright to make it work much better. Uh, once I put the overhead light on, I was able to make it work more than I was when I didn't have that light on. So. No, you're gonna have to do a lot of trial and error make sure it works correctly for you if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe any questions comments just put them down below and always keep on living a modern lifestyle through technology peace